and welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick with the City of Hampton, and today we are going to reacquaint you with the uh, YMCA at Fort Monroe. It's an old YMCA, it's, it's been around for a while, and it is open to the public and growing. My guests are Mandy Walkowicz and Mary Catherine DeLucas. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. us. <laughs> you know, that was a Y that I think people thought of as the armies for a long, long time and haven't thought about being a resource for people in Hampton. But you all reopened and tell me what it's like there now. Would you like to start off? <laughs> sure, okay, so the Fort Monroe YMCA is part of our Peninsula Metropolitan. Um, so all the YMCAs that are, um, our 18 locations that are around. Um, we reopened, um, Mary. <laughs> <laughs> we reopened in 2015, but the building itself has been around since 1903. And it was the first Army YMCA, and it was a, a military YMCA up until 92. And back in 2001, it reopened as a military MWR, which stands for Morale, Welfare, and Recreation, uh, to which it served until 2011 when the post decommissioned. And we were invited back in 2015. And as of right now, we are serving the immediate community of Fort Monroe. And more and more people are living there every day. They are, they are rehabbing those buildings and getting new folks in. It is really growing out yes. there. It's been wonderful to see the growth of the community, at having been someone who has lived pretty much growing up on Fort Monroe. Uh, I, I went to St. Mary's, so all of my best friends are in the Army. Wow. Uh, and St. Mary's was a part of that community. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been wonderful to see the Fort Monroe Authority kind of maintain the integrity of the area and keep that charm that it's had. And we've been really lucky as a part of that. So now we get to give back to the Fort Monroe residents as well as all the employees who work on the Fort Monroe um, you know, work on Fort Monroe. Yeah, with Liberty Source now, there are just more and, and more and more offices. You know, Alternatives is there. They're just mm -hmm. continuing to rent some of those. Some of them are little, some of them are big, but it is not where it used to be in terms of numbers when the Army was there, but, you know, it is growing. It is building back up. Yeah, we also target, like, the Phoebus area as well as um, Buckrow as well. So just kind of getting the word out over there that we're close by as well as a, um, as a wellness center. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense because, um, you know, the, the main Hampton Y is very centrally located in Hampton, but Phoebus and Buckrow are a little farther away, and you don't have everything that they have, but for exercise, for workouts, for machines, for kind of getting in and out, it's, you know, it's a great alternative. Yes, yes. and at our branch, we have a strength floor that has various, uh, various equipment. We have free weights, we have circuit machines, two racquetball courts. Uh, uh, we have this really cool Pro Maxima that is a cross training rig, so it's great for functional fitness. We also have a. You have people who will show us how to use that, though, right? Like, yes, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> over my head, so, so our, we have a wellness coach on the floor at all times. Anytime you have a question about the equipment, or if you're new, we can set up an orientation. And what's really exciting is we've just come out with this app called Y Connect. So it's kind of like social media for the YMCA in that you can get workouts from it, you can connect with members, you can connect with staff, say there's a coach you want to you, you want to do more with, mm -hmm. well you can link up with them on the app and maybe you guys can do workouts together, uh, they can help you maybe where you have questions, uh, it can, Ooh, and yes. it can keep you motivated if you start yes. to slack yes. off. <laughs> That I it's like anything. having a virtual coach that's real <laughs> that you can actually visit with at the yeah. Y, so it's, it's nice. That's kind of cool. It's really neat to see your progress as well as it'll send you achievements. So if you've done 500 push-ups, you know, it doesn't matter how long it took you to get there, mm -hmm. you still did it and you'll get an award for it. So if you, when you track your miles, uh, you can connect your Fitbit to it, your Garmin through Apple Health and Google Fit. Google Fit. Yeah. <laughs> all these things, all these things that track what I don't do. The sad part, they, you know, I, I have to be honest. Let me say no. <laughs> so, what else um, do you have that you have classes? Yes, we do offer classes. We have morning as well as PM classes. We offer interval trainings. 
a Zumba, we have power cut, a cycling class, a gentle yoga class as well. And recently this year, we now have silver sneakers. And under certain insurance cover or covers, they will, you have access to the YMCA. That is, you know, as I, I was telling you before this, my mom used to do that back in the rural county we lived in, and it was a, you have your choice, you know, for the Medicare, Medigap, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, so she had free membership, did water aerobics every morning, did aerobics in between. I mean, you know, it was a really important thing for particularly women, but men too, to stave off osteoporosis, to use yes. those mm -hmm. muscles, to do some strength training, and to continue to be active. Yeah, at our Hampton YMCA, um, that's probably our largest class. So just, we're busting out the doors with silver sneakers, so we decided to bring it over to Fort Monroe because just to keep serving the community and letting them have more classes and more availability for that. Yeah, I think that is a great program. And you understand it makes so much health benefits why insurance companies are, are subsidizing the cost mm -hmm. because it saves them money in the long run. Correct. <laughs> really, it helps life, it helps health, it is a really good benefit. Yes. yes. And not only is it you know physically important to be a part of these classes, but we find it's kind of spiritually and emotionally because you have people you can connect with, that you're in this together, you're a part of the community. And we like to think of the YMCA as the third place. Now we have home and we have work, and then the YMCA is that place where you want to gather, where you choose to be that you're a part of the community. Yeah. Well, and you know, it is, once you've retired, it's for the Silver Sneakers people, once you've retired mm -hmm. and you're home all day, you know, you used to talk to people at work, you used to be a part of something, mm -hmm. and so that can help make that transition. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. But in addition to our, you know, our glass classes for our adults, the Foreman Row YMCA does have a summer camp. It's at a satellite branch, and Mandy is our new director for that, or she, she's been a part of it. She's the new Hampton uh, yes. director for so, it. So, Mandy, tell us what that's like. Okay, so um, I do all the youth development in Hampton for the YMCA, um, and so the Fort Monroe YMCA has a camp that's uh, it's, a sat it's almost a satellite of our satellite branch. We have our own little camp building right out on the water. Um, we can go in our backyard. We're right on to the beach. Really? Yep, back right up oh, onto the gosh, beach. so cool. So the kids get to, so it's an outdoor recreation camp. So we have our little hub that the kids get dropped off at, and um, we do like our pre and post camp at. Um, but their actual camp day um, is encompassed with uh, kayaking and fishing and getting to use the sports fields out at Fort Monroe because there's a there's a baseball field out there mm -hmm. so we use that it makes kickball and baseball and wiffle ball and all those activities so much bigger so much more um, lifelike to play um, and then we have soccer fields um, and then also the Y is um, big for hopping the gap in the summer so the summer learning loss just trying to make sure that our kids are engaged throughout the summer and still learning and still you know, using their brains during the summer and not kind of just, you know, relaxing and, and sitting on the couch for the summer and, and turning Video off. Video games. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so what we do is we actually have a really strong STEM education program there. Um, we do STEM every um, every week there, and, and STEM is the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math Initiative. Um, and so what we do is we do those projects as well as attend. Um, last week we actually had our STEM fair for the whole association. Um, I think it's over 1,100 kids come to the area and Space Museum and they compete and they do a STEM project and um, local NASA was there as well as um, Canon and a few other companies came out and like judged and and taught our kids even more about that subject. Um, so the Y is just very big on that um, as well as our No Kids Hungry program. Um, so we also serve um, lunch and have a healthy snack as well at the end of the day um, just because our service area is um, you know, we're, we're able to help make sure that our kids are not hungry during the summer. Because as you know, like kids can kind of shut down or not be able to be um, as successful if they're hungry. Mm -hmm. um, so we um, have gotten that. We're sponsored through the Boys and Girls Club. Um, so we've been fortunate enough to have that for the last two summers. And um, it's really been quite amazing to watch how our, you know, our discipline has gone down. Our Because we just, our kids are just really thriving because of that program. And I know that because I've been here for the last five years and witnessed what a difference that that program has made for us. Well, you know, I talked about the importance of physical activity and exercise for older people. It's important for younger people too. The yes. increase in um, youth obesity, the 
uncertainty in neighborhoods where kids can't go outside and play or where parents are working and they can't go. You know, there's a whole lot of things that keep kids up until organized sports start in high school, right. you know, it keeps kids from doing some of those things. So having a camp, having that expectation. So one of the things that I think, so there's quite a few benefits as you can like talking about all those outdoor recreation sports and things like that, that the kids are doing physical um, activities. The, one of the really cool things is watching um, a young camper learn to kayak because it's such a big experience for them mm -hmm. and it's an independent experience. And then I would say another thing that for this area, for me as a parent and, you know, just knowing what the benefit is, is watching a 14-year-old come to camp. Because, you know, not everything is. They don't it, always want to. Yeah. It's not cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they want to be on their phones or do, like, the things that they do at home. But watching them get to hang out with their friends at the beach with a counselor that's advising them and getting, like, they just get to hang out with their friends in a safe environment. Mm -hmm. um, that's beneficial, too, is just to have a safe place. Well, Hampton has been, you know, one of our, our recent focuses from City Council has been activating our water area because right. of all the localities in the area, we have, I think, a, a ton of accessible, everybody has waterfront, we have accessible waterfront, right, but yeah. not everybody can afford a kayak or to transport it or what, you know, so having those things so kids and adults get those experiences, appreciate what their surroundings are, what their area is. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful way to get us out there and enjoying the water. Yes, absolutely. I'm from Ohio, we don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big deal. And I think we take it a little bit for granted sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. So how can we learn more? Now, obviously, if I'm a member of any of the other Peninsula branches, I'm automatically can use that facility. Yes. Correct. But if I want to learn more or tour the Y or, you know, think about maybe looking at the summer camp for next year for my kids, how can I get more information? The best place probably to go would be to the website. So um, PeninsulaMetropolitanYMCA.org would be the best place to go. It's real easy. You just go to the left side and there's locations. So whatever the location that's nearest you, you just click the drop down tab and click the location to find out more information about our programs. Um, and then. Oh. Uh, after visiting our website, you want to learn a little bit more. You can always come and visit one of our branches, whichever local branch you have. Uh, so if you're within the Hampton community, come out to the Hampton YMCA, which is one YMCA way, or to the Fort Monroe branch, which is 8 Ruckman Road. It's located on Fort Monroe. And who is ever there? But who knows addresses at Fort Monroe? Nobody. <laughs> so, so, so give us your directions. Okay. <laughs> When you're coming down Mercury <laughs> <laughs> and you, sit, you hit the lights, you're going to stay to the left of the, gar the old guard shack. Mm -hmm. You're going to follow Ingalls, which is the main road, all the way down to St. Mary's Church, which will be on your right. There will be a cannon on your left. Take a left at the cannon and head like you're going to the main moat entrance, and we will be the last building on the right, Large Brook Building, four white columns. It's so cool. Like, where else in the world do you get to say, take a left at the cannon? Yeah. <laughs> How many places? It's a the unique moat. place. Yeah, or the moat. Yeah. That's even more rare. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like a great community. Yes. So I think more people need to know it's there and, and get out and take advantage. We're Absolutely. certainly lucky to serve the community we're a part of. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming and sharing your stories. We thank really you for appreciate having it. Us. Thank you. <laughs> And thank you for watching. I hope you will come out and visit the Fort Monroe Y. It is a unique place. Everything on Fort Monroe is, uh, is pretty special and distinctive, and this is one of those um, highlights. It is a great place to go for people in, uh, across the bridge tunnel who maybe want to wait after work before the traffic dies down. It's just a great resource for people, as are all of our local YMCAs. Thanks for watching.